Hi, hello, and welcome in our video. In this short video, we will cover just one thing, how you can upload and use images and files in the requirements management. Without further ado, let's jump to this topic. It wouldn't be doors next if you wouldn't have at least three or four different ways how can you do the same thing. Let's cover two major options. Let's pretend you are creating Word document. You also have different options. One of these options is that you can copy paste something directly from a web to your document or drag and drop some image directly to your document. Or you can download the image and then use this image in your document. And that's exactly how you can do it here in Doors Next. So first you can upload this image to any folder and then use this image in your module or you can upload image directly to your module or do, uh, even drag and drop image directly to your module. So let's cover those two options first. Option number one, we will upload image to the folder and then use this image in the module from this folder. We can use any of those folders or we can use new one. Just to practice, let's create new one. I would like this folder to be as high in hierarchy as possible. So I will right click here, create folder. I will name it files and I will store all files to this folder that I will be using in this exercise. Excellent. One last thing I will do, I will click to all. So later I can see all files in this folder. To upload image, click on create, click on upload and click on Browse. On the second screen, I choose logo. You see, type was choose automatically. Name is choose automatically from the name of the file. I can change it to Softacus logo, for example. So this is new name of this artifact. You can choose artifact type. So for example, yeah, let's leave it as information. If you have, for example, actor just uh, select it as information. Artifact format cannot be changed, it's file, that's great. And you can change folder, so you can browse and choose another folder, but no, we specifically created files for files and we choose it before uploading. So yeah, that, that's great, we will leave it as is. All right, and just hit okay. And we have Softacus logo here, I can click on it. And you see, this is our Softacus logo. Excellent, so we uploaded first image into the folder. To use this image, I will make it big again. I will jump back and go to any module because yeah, it's just general overview. We don't need to use specific module. So I will use stakeholders requirement specification. And if you already saw our videos about working with artifacts, you know that we have a couple of options. How can we insert existing artifact into the module? One option is just to hit create and use add an existing artifact or right click and insert existing artifact. You have many different ways. So I will use this one, for example, add an existing artifact. And right now I will try to find files. Excellent. Click on Softacus logo. Excellent. Add and close. Perfect. So you see, we uploaded image from the folder into the module. Great. But what are the options if I would like to add image directly to the module? Well, probably the easiest one is just drag and drop image to the module. I have my training files here. So I will select second logo and just drag and drop it, for example, here. And you see the logo is ready to be uploaded. If I will hit OK, it will be uploaded. Everything is fine. You can select different artifact types or different name. Yeah, but that doesn't matter right now. For me, it's OK. So I will click OK. And my second logo is here. Super easy, right? There are another two options. How can you upload image directly to the module and not to do two step process of uploading image to the folder and then use this image in the module? To do that, you can, for example, click here because you would like to have image in this subchapter. You can go to create, upload artifact, and you already saw this window. So you can browse for your image or for your logo, click OK, and that's it. The second way is to right click here to click on upload artifact. And for example, below as a child, and again, once again, 
the same screen. So I choose logo and it's here. All right. And at the end of this video, I would like to show you how can you work with PDFs, PowerPoint presentations, Word documents, and maybe even videos. Those are files you can also upload to requirements management application or into the module. And frankly, you have exactly the same options. You can upload those files to the file folder and then use them in the module, or you can upload them directly to the module. Or, of course, you can just drag and drop those files to the module. And that's my preferred way. And I don't want to show it because you need to see again how you can drag and drop, for example, PDF file to the module. I would like to show it just so you see that you can work with PDFs or PowerPoint presentations directly in this application. Great, let's drag and drop them. So I will choose this presentation. Excellent. I will use it again as information. OK. Presentation is uploaded. We can also drag and drop this PDF. Again, OK. And PDF is uploaded. And the last one, I will use this training document. OK. And this Word document is uploaded. So you see, we have just, let's say, thumbnails here, but you can click here open this presentation and you can view this presentation directly here in the application. You can do the same with PDF or Word. So this is PDF. Don't worry, it's nothing confidential. It's just training document that I generated. And you see, you can view this document directly here. So if you need something that you need to add to the module and it may need to be linked or reviewed or something, you can do it. There is no problem with that. PowerPoints, Word documents and PDFs can be uploaded and used directly in the application. You can also upload video files, but there is a big difference. Yes, you can still review it and upload it to module and link it, but you are not able to see it here in the application. To play the video, you would need to download it for viewing, play the video and use it with this video offline, not right here in the application. So yes, you can upload video and link it and work with this video, but unfortunately you are not able to play it here. All right, let's back to our Word document just to see that, again, you can open it and view it. Where are you? Here. Excellent. So you see, this is my Word document. I upload it here and you can see it exactly in the same way as you saw presentation and as you saw PDF. You also see that here you can extract requirements, but we will use this feature in a separate video. All right, one last thing. Let's jump again to the presentation and let's talk about what if we would like to use any of those files, but some of them need to be modified. Can you modify the file, but use the, exactly the same artifact ID? So you don't have to recreate links. You don't have to recreate anything else. Can you use the same artifact? And yes, you can. For example, let's make change here. I would like to change it to just softacus.com. I made the change and I will click to upload a new version. Please see that the artifact ID is 51844. I will browse, choose this presentation and click on OK. Excellent. The artifact ID is still the same. And you see, the changes were applied. So you can work offline on your files, for example, on your PowerPoint presentation. And if you need to upload a new version, you can use this button. All right, and I think that's it for this video. I really hope this was informative for you and I look forward to see you in our next videos.